What is up my friends, so I already did a video talking about if you should go see this movie and let me tell you, go see this movie. But this is the movie called The Invisible Man. Now The Invisible Man has been in production for quite some time now. We were first going to get Johnny Depp being The Invisible Man and this was going to tie into the bigger universe that was set up by Dracula and also Tom Cruise's The Mummy. But now here we go. The Invisible Man comes to you by Lee Wano, who is behind movies such as Saw, Insidious, and one of my favorite movies of the past five years, Upgrade. Now, this film basically takes the Invisible Man horror story and brings it to our modern time where the Invisible Man is basically a man who builds a suit to make him invisible, but he's not using this for any good. He's using this to stalk his ex who has left him for being abusive, and here we are. So... The film basically follows a woman who escapes her abusive billionaire boyfriend. Her sister and a friend help her get through this. And weeks later, we find out the boyfriend has killed himself and is now dead. She gets called to a meeting by his brother and he tells her that she has become the heir and will be getting $5 million. And she decides to move on from it all now. Well, no, this is not going to happen because this movie is called The Invisible Man and we still have not gotten an Invisible Man by this time in the film and now we get him as he starts stalking her and it turns out he can turn invisible because he created a suit which allowed him to turn invisible she finds out about this suit and she goes back to his home and hides one of them and then she's about to tell her sister what's going on but he kills her sister and makes it seem like she did it basically framing her for it she gets locked up and then this is where we find out that she is now pregnant, which is the thing that he wanted the most during the relationship. She then gets visited by the ex's brother who tells her, hey, you're going to get your money taken now. Like, And the only way that this won't happen is if you stay with my brother, keep the kid, and y'all live happily ever after. She pretty much is like, oh my goodness, you were in on all of this the whole time, and I kept telling you, and you kept making me seem like I was crazy, that my sister is dead, I'm not signing shit, and then she pretty much takes one of his pens without him noticing, and he leaves and is like, all right, think about it though, yeah, right. Now, what happens next is that she pretty much is like, hey, if I pretend to kill myself, he's gonna appear because I think he's in the room with me, and he definitely has to be there, and so she does this, she pretends to kill herself with the pen he appears she then stabs him and his suit starts like malfunctioning and all of this the security officers in the building start showing up and he starts taking them out one by one as she tries to escape but he ends up catching her and is like okay you want to play it this way i'm gonna kill your friend's daughter and i am not gonna be stopped this time she tries to warn her friend as her friend rushes to his home where he sees his daughter being basically strangled by the invisible man he starts trying to fight him but ultimately since he can't see him he is like done he starts the invisible man starts beating him up bad and i'm telling you i was like holy shit if this man is not dead what the hell it turns out the man is not dead but the invisible man then gets some fire extinguisher uh, smoke whatever on him as Cecilia our protagonist arrives shooting him dead and we're like fuck yeah the ex is dead nope it turns out it was the brother in the suit at the moment and here's where I got confused a little bit because they show this little scene where they see where we see uh, Cecilia's ex the abusive one being rescued from a kidnapping that he says his brother orchestrated for him but it turns out that he pretty much has this whole like backup plan and everything. His brother was in on everything and I'm sure he had another suit as well. Um, but Cecilia is like, I'm not done yet. He has to pay for what he did. The friend's like, how are you going to do this? And then we see Cecilia call him up and be like, I want to meet. And pretty much is setting him up as she has a wire and the other friend is listening in. And she's trying to get the guy to say, yeah, I did it too. I killed your sister, all of this. And he's like, I'm not responsible for anything. I don't know what you're talking about. She breaks down. She just tells him to give her a moment to get her composure. And then we see him basically slit his throat. And we find out that Cecilia is actually wearing the suit that she hid earlier. And then she basically made it seem like it was a suicide on the cameras. She then 
packs up the suit and leaves and that's the end of the film as the abuser dies so what is Cecilia up to next well my friends let me tell you something I would definitely be all in for an invisible woman film I could definitely see Cecilia trying to use this for good and trying to help out however she can whether this means that they are expanding this monster universe still and going full steam ahead with this idea of having other monsters appear, I'm all here for it. Or if this means some awesome sci-fi shit, I'm all here for that as well. Overall, I thought the film was great. I like the whole um, new adaption for the Invisible Man and taking these very dark themes that are very prevalent in our society today with tech getting out of control, billionaires not being checked for what they're doing, and also, most importantly, the whole abuse uh, storyline about Cecilia getting away from this ex. And pretty much, even if he didn't really exist, it is something that people who go through abusive relationships end up suffering through, is the PTSD of always feeling watched and like the abuse are still there even when they're not. And just having this whole um, baggage to you that you can't really leave i thought that that was pretty cool of the movie to be able to do and i would be excited to see what comes next for cecilia there's also a pretty cool easter egg i want to add at the very like last third of the film where we see jigsaw and that's because lee Weno was in fact a very big part of the saw series so i really enjoyed that but yeah my friends as i said cecilia is now with the suit and she is able to do pretty much as she pleases with it and i think that i would love to see her um establish herself more as maybe somebody who's going to do good with the suit now um one of the things that i was questioning as well is what was the brother trying to do with the other brother and i think that just goes back to how he explains a relationship where the brother pretty much just keeps using him no matter what and i think that um i think the ex uh adrian knew what would happen if he showed up at the house and instead sent the brother over there and that's how the brother ended up getting there much quicker than adrian could have gotten and I think that's the reason that the brother ended up dead is because Adrian kind of knew in the back of his head, hey, Cecilia might make it in time and I don't want to get caught because I know that guy is a cop who I'm going after his daughter. So I think that he basically set his brother up and he went back to the house to make it all seem like he was the victim. And that was not the case, of course, as we all know. And pretty much just this elaborate scheme where he just is using everybody as his own pawns for his own little sick game. And I thought that that was a pretty cool twist that the film did because as soon as that mask came out, I was expecting to see Adrian. Nope, we see the brother and everybody in my theater, let me tell you, they lost it at that part because it was like, holy shit, I thought it was over. And then... The movie does a thing that I don't like that movies do is it makes it seem like it's over and then it brings you back into the story and that's for awesome and all because we got to see Cecilia finally getting her um, judgment I would say on Adrian but at the end of the day it still is like a movie theater well a movie playing in a movie theater especially is like a roller coaster i feel so it takes you through all these ups and downs and then when, finally when we get to the climax we're at this top and we go all the way down we're already settled and i think that you're already like okay it's over and then the movie's like nope and it takes you for a spin and you're just like okay i did not see this coming i'm okay with it because i do want to see some more but at the end of the day it's just i'm out of it already you know what i mean my thoughts and just my um like little thing about the movie many people might have loved it i just felt that way but you let me know your thoughts on the movie what do you think about the invisible man what do you think of a possible sequel would you be all here for it or do you think this movie should it just be a one-off and did you even enjoy the movie that's the biggest question let me know in the comments below i really like to know in the comments below let me know sequel to this movie yes or no and if not why not Please let me know below and what was your favorite scene? I definitely think it was when she threw the paint and the man looked like a damn golf ball. But if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that like, comment, share, all that good stuff. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. 
And make sure you follow me on my other social media as well, such as Twitter, TikTok, Anchor, Instagram. I'll leave it on all the links below. We talk movies, we talk anime, we talk music, all the stuff you love. And as always, I'll see you all next time. As always, stay positive.